Stampers and welcome to Laura's Stamp Pad. Here's another video on the series using the Owl Builder Punch to make some really fun punch art. I will leave links down below to the past few months where we have created a few of these and of course I will be doing even more. We have almost completed all of these items on here but don't worry I have a few extras. So this series will go on until I have created everything I can with the fabulous Owl Builder Punch. I love this and, which there's a glare, there we go, now you can kind of see it. Um, I love this punch and I don't know that I've made any owls, I've just made lots of other fabulous things. So today we will actually be making the chicken, we will be making the little penguin since it's winter time, the little mouse, and the little fishy. So let's get started. Okay, so now we're going to do the little fishy. For the little fishy, all you need is the Owl Builder Punch. And I used pumpkin pie and Pacific Point, so I have a full owl body, two of the little breast pieces, one of the circles that's above the owl body, just so just one of those in Pacific Point, and then also a little heart in Pacific Point. So now let's get started. First we're going to cut off the little feetsies like we do on many of the other ones. We don't need those. And I'm going to add some adhesive to the top side. So next to um, these little wing or the little horns or ears I guess. And then we're just going to add those little fins which are the little breast pieces that are going to come out just right in front of the little ears or horns or whatever you want to call that on the owl because <laughs> now they're tail fins. So there we have our little fishy and then I'm just going to take a googly eye and place the googly eye on top of the blue circle and then we're going to use the fine tip blue pen to add that to our project. So just add a little dot there that's probably too much but it's okay it dries clear so if it pops out that's okay. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of glue to the heart and those are going to be his little fish lips. So there we have our little fishy. Isn't he adorable? Next up we have the penguin. Okay so for the penguin we will need, and you can hardly see it, but there's a black owl body here. So that's that piece. One of the breast pieces in white. Two of the circles, these are the circles that are above the owl body. Then a little half owl body, including the little feetsies, because that's what we need. We want to put that on the bottom of our penguin. But you don't want to do just the little feetsies. You want a little bit of body so that you can add it, your adhesive to that and line it up. And then I also have a little pumpkin pie heart, and we're going to use that as his little beak. So we'll cut the little pumpkin pie beak out with that. So let's get started by chopping off the little black feetsies. And then we will add a little dab of our snail adhesive to the orange feet, and then line those up there. So now he has his little orange feet. Then we're going to add a little bit of the snail adhesive to our little breast piece and we're actually going to line that up at the very bottom so instead of having it like up high it's going to actually line up with the bottom there on on our little owl piece and then for the little eyes I'm going to use our fine tip glue pen to add the little white circles and then you can either take a black marker and add in your little your little eye pieces or you can use googly eyes so here I have my googly eyes and I'll just add those right to the center of those white circles whoop that one turned upside down on me I like to use my paper snips as little tweezer type things to kind of do those little fine tip things now I'm going to just cut a little triangle from this heart so I'm just gonna cut a little piece there on the bottom of that heart and add that to the very top of this breast piece just where that little like V is that's where I'm going to add his beak and there you have it isn't he adorable I love him and perfect for oh I'm sorry the one thing that we forgot to chop off is his little ears or horns so we're actually just going to cut those and round off the top of his head 
Our little penguin shouldn't have little horns or ears. So there we have him. Super cute and you can use him throughout the winter season for any of your all occasion cards. Next up, we have the little mouse. Okay, for our little mouse, we I'm using the basic gray and pink pirouette as my colors, and then of course whisper white. So I'm using the owl body in gray, and then also two of the bigger circles. So the circles that are to the side of the owl body, not above, and those are also in the basic gray. Then the above, the smaller circles I have in pink pirouette, as well as a little heart, and then I also have my little tail here, which is in basic gray, and I'll show you how I created that. I just used the piece of cardstock that I cut out with the owl, then I just slid that back in and did just a little sliver right along that edge there of the owl body. So you can see, like I have all of that right there. So you'll just do just a little sliver. And of course you'll get a few little pieces. And then you get that little sliver that's kind of curvy, so it's really cute for your little owl, or I'm sorry, it's not an owl, but it is, <laughs> for your little mousy tail. So for this one, we're actually going to do the same thing that we've done on the other few and just cut off those top ears and round off the head. So there we have our little body. And then we're going to take the larger gray circles and I'm gonna use some of my fine tip glue pen and just add a little dot in the center and add our pink pirouette circles. And you can kind of put those a little bit towards one side. They don't have to be completely in the center because these are going to be the little ears that peek up over his head. So if you want a little bit more pink showing, then you can do it like that. So what I'm going to do here is just add some glue to the bottom half and then place them close together and just press that right on top and hold for a few seconds while the glue is grabbing hold. Then the white circles are actually going to be the little eyeballs. So I actually didn't use googly eyes for this one. I just used the little white circles and then I took my basic black marker and I added just a little dot because mice have those little beady eyes. And then I'm going to add the heart, the little pink pirouette heart, just right below. And that's his little pink nose. And then I'm just going to use my marker again to create a few little whiskers and maybe a little line down at the bottom for his mouth. And then we'll add his little tail to the back. And for the little tail, you can either um, add a little piece on top, like you can either take some glue like this and sort of peek it out just like that and allow it to dry upside down or you could take another um, little owl piece and stick it right on top or here I actually have a little white circle so I'm just gonna smash that little white circle over that glue glob right there and there we have our little mousy isn't he adorable I love all of these they're just so cute I can't handle it and next up is our little chicken Okay, and now we're going to do the little chicken. So for the chicken, we'll actually need the Owl Builder Punch and the one and three quarters scallop circle punch. So we'll need a Whisper White Owl Body Punch. We will need a half of the one and three quarters scallop circle punch. So you can either slide your paper in halfway and punch, or you can always punch a full one and then cut it in half, and then you can be making multiples of this uh, much quicker. Then you can also, uh, you'll need a pumpkin pie of the little owl body with the feet. Enough owl body to add some adhesive, but you don't need the full one. So you mostly just need the feet. Then two real red hearts from the Owl Builder Punch and one pumpkin pie heart. So we're gonna start by cutting off the little white feet. And we're also going to cut off the little ears or owl horns or whatever you want to call them and just round off that top piece, just like we did for the pear. And then we're going to add a little adhesive to our scallop 
and oh here wait let's put our feet on first just in case they overlap so we're just going to add the little feet just like that and then add our little chicken wings and then using the fine tip glue pen I'm gonna add just a little dab to the top and attach the real red heart one of them and that's gonna be our little chicken hair or little floof and then I'm going to add two little googly eyes which you could always add um, little circles or use your markers uh, like a, a basic black marker to create little googly eyes if you didn't have googly eyes or you could always use like the various circles here on the punch um, in black and white so there's our little googly eyes and then I'm actually going to add a little dab of the fine tip glue pen to the red heart and then overlap with the orange heart and then add a little bit of glue there right below the eyeballs and I think I'm going to use my scissors as little tweezers and place that right on top and that's our little chicken lips or little chicken beak so there we have our little chicken and let's bring back in all of the other ones so we have our little mouse and our little penguin who I put on a little white piece of paper so we could see him better and our little fishy super cute and I really love doing these because you can use uh, the owl builder punch to make so many different things which just makes it so much more versatile and so much more worth it um, to purchase because of all the awesome things that you can create with it for any sort of look that you're going for um, whether it's for a little kids card or for a wedding card or a themed birthday party or anything like that so I hope you enjoyed this and again I'll put the links down below for the past months that I have done some of the other items on the uh, little flyer that I have with all my Owl Builder Punch creations. And let me know in the comments below what you want to see next month or if there's something that I haven't shown uh, that you would like to see if I can create. I'm more than happy um, to work and uh, have a little inspiration from you guys of what you would like to see. So leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to check out my blog, laurastamphead.com for more awesome creations and fabulous punch art. Until next time, happy stamping. Bye-bye.